So have I. So forgive me for any spoilers that might occur. Um, <laughs> Wow, so um, I really love you. But I'm not a, um, I'm not a New South Wales born or New Town girl. So I've only been here for three years. Yeah, yeah. yeah. all good. <laughs> but um, that, the mural, has always been something that uh, I found really concrete for the environment that I was living in. I, I didn't really know exactly what environment I was living in, but I. Like, Every time I saw that sort of ground, it, um, the sense of beauty that I found in the town. So, yeah, so it was, it was always astounding to me. And it was really, really lovely. I think the documentary was beautifully built. Yeah. The film was great. Yeah. And, and you're happy with that? Yeah. No. Yeah. Absolutely. The story is out there now. It's been told, it's been unleashed. Yeah. And do you think that like um, releasing that story is such um, a the value of it has occurred? Uh, you know, like um, the spirituality that's connected with that, that image. Oh, no, I don't think there's having a spirituality it. Oh, I actually am more of an adherent of Walter Benjamin. And I think he has a theory about the aura. And to me, an artwork that is powerful and authentic is one that draws its own audience and refreshes its own audience. It brings a new audience to the artwork all the time. An artwork that does that is powerful and authentic. And that particular mural is powerful and authentic and it draws its own audience and continually brings a new audience to it. So to me, it's. I feel that this is a powerful um, exposition of the theories of Walter Benjamin. And I think Walter Benjamin, if he was alive now, would thoroughly approve of me. <laughs> Somebody else, <has> dude. <laughs> so, um, tell me, um, I was speaking to a, a cab driver today who, um, who said that every time he drove um, particularly young um, female uni students that were from North Shore that were having to be studying in this area, um, who were driving through the area, and they would see that and they would be um, bewildered and, and would absolutely adore it as soon as they saw it and ask him to stop in the cab. Just to see it, just to take it all in, and like that alone, like that is just a, a camera. That's just one story. That is fabulous. But um, yeah, just that sense of story that you've created for every single person. That's brilliant. Yeah, you had no idea. Yeah, no idea. No idea. <laughs> if we'd have known it was going to become an uncle, yeah. we would have used it. <laughs> 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 something that didn't burn so easily. Yeah, that's right. Oh, I mean, what are you? Yeah. So this is something that you've always stuck to, this, yeah, this desire to create something. Yes. And, and I want to know what you've been doing since if that's okay to ask. I don't know. Since Wow, that's okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. I'm, I'm just intrigued by you as an artist. Oh, okay. Um, is that sense for TV? Yes. I've got some interesting projects coming up. I'm, I mean, I'm not done yet. Seriously. I'm making an opera. Um, oh, wow. Which is terrific considering I'm tone deaf and I've got no musical ability. <laughs> <laughs> um, the opera is not as you would normally expect. Well, if it's tone deaf opera, it's going to be something you never have. No, I'm working with a really good musician, and it's going to be fabulous. I'm so excited about it. Um, so I've got lots of things happening, you know, and I'm, I never stop. And I won't stop until the day I stop. Because that, you know, oh, the word phase that you used was As soon as I left the film, all I wanted to do was like carry around a big can of paint and just, and just yeah. slap them around and, and rid ourselves of this. Gentrification is occurring. Because um, I've only been in Newtown for three years, as I said before, and I've already noticed it over those three years. And so as soon as you said that, I'm like, yes, why don't we continue this path? And like, that's right. Everywhere. Yeah. No, it's beautiful. You have to excuse me, my eyes are I know. I know. <laughs> I'm so moved. Actually, um, 
Once some, uh, someone that we interviewed straight off the film said he was is completely moved by it and did start to cry in the film. And um, well, just because the story of the of, of Andrew and one of the reasons why I was totally intrigued by the film is because Andrew sounded like such a beautiful soul, that a beautiful dark soul, but a beautiful soul nonetheless. It's an extraordinary Do I have great I always have that. And that's not diminished in one or eight or one years. We're still in contact. You know, and I just think he's somebody who came into my life at the right time. And we've managed to work together and do a few things that have great meetings. You know, and we respect each other. You know. So the Martin Luther King project, um, was it a collaborated thought? Yeah. Yeah. What's the old ones? Okay. It's the best way to work. Yeah. Give your ideas to us. It's work with everyone. Yeah. Breathe them. Breathe them. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. People worry these days about copyright infringement. They say, if I post my pictures on Facebook, someone will steal them. But I have a different view of that. I think the more people copy your work, the more powerful and the stronger the original becomes. So give your work away. Yeah. Because it all leads back to the centre eventually. So that mural, for example, has no copyright. We didn't sign it. It belongs to everybody. It's a gift. We gave yeah. it away. Did. And it has its own power. So one thing I wanted to know, actually, um, I wanted to know how many times someone had tried to add something to it. Because I don't know the full history. Oh, it's not. Nobody's ever besides added anything a to corporation it. and yeah. trying to, to take it away or build over it. Yeah. Have there been many street artists trying to add to it? No, I mean, I think it's a complete thing in itself. Yeah, it's it's so it's gained There's so much respect yeah. with the street art, but they just would never do it. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. It has its own power, and it's self cleaning. You know, it's if it, if there's a several little tag or damage or something like that, somebody from the community would go up there with a tin of paint and smell because of their passion, passion, passion for it. Yeah. I'm continually amazed by that because people love it. They accept the gift. Yeah. And they they it's theirs. It to the yeah. Time. It's not mine. I, I was just lucky enough to paint it. Yeah. I, it I know, but me. like funnily enough, I've only really been here for three years, but I feel like it's a part of what I know about Newtown, so therefore if you ruin it, I will fix it. That's wrong. And I like I said, I I don't the area. Yeah, yeah. so it is yeah. so funny. Yeah. It belongs to the town. It belongs to the yeah. town. It's yours. You own it. I do. You do. Oh well thank you for giving it to me. My <laughs> <laughs> whole existence is not like that I'm giving yeah. it. Yeah. And you never thought this is what amazes me about art. And this is one of the reasons why as any artist and I uh, I'm a wannabe artist in, in other forms, and, and you, this is why you should never stop, right? Don't stop, and don't never stop breathing it. Of course, yeah. don't take risks. Go for it. Mm. Do things that are crazy, because crazy turns into iconic, fabulous <laughs> with the gift. And that is coming from someone who knows exactly that that happens. It like, does happen. That's not a that's. It's not an urban, urban myth that actually happens. You commit to breathing your art and perhaps it will be the most iconic piece that Australia has ever produced. Thank you. It was beautiful, beautiful to meet you. I'm honoured to say.